everybody, this is Jessica the Book Art Goddess and Jada Just a Gord Lush. And we are here to film a TBR for Rita Thun that is taking place actually as we speak. It started yesterday, but she wasn't home and we wanted to film this video together, but she we had she hasn't been home all week. So we're doing it now. Better late than never, because it's a three-week um read -a thon so it works. So it goes from the 14th through September 4th. What are you doing that face for? Are you trying to get your little digs in? No, it's because you were gone. Man. I know you were gone. But it is called the Pokemon Indigo League. And we have made our own little papers and charts and stuff so that we can keep track of it. And we've already picked our, like, little Pokemon. Who's your Pokemon? Dratini. Mine is Togepi. Everybody should know what Togepi is. The little egg that um, Misty carries around with her. I loved it. I just loved the way it said its little name. So I went with Togepi. And... I'm in love with that little guy. <laughs> so we are going to do this. It's divided up into badges, like I guess because the Indigo League had eight ba eight levels or eight badges. badges to collect. So the um, the person who created this is Read at Midnight. Make sure you check her out. She's got all the information you'll need. There is CP points, all that stuff. If you want to take it further with the actual Pokemon you pick and everything. And the person who gets the most points, I guess, at the end wins the prizes. But if you don't want to do it and you just want to read the books and do those challenges, that's great, too. Because, you know, readathons make you read better. I mean, for me, it makes me get my books done faster. So, anyways, the first badge that is in this league is the Boulder Badge, which is the first book in a series. Whoops. I'm going to knock mine over. And that my first book is... Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton. And I've been having to read that for a while. So Mine's Lost Voices by Sarah Potter. And then the next badge, you can do that one. So And can... the next badge is Cascade Badge. This is Might Make You Cry. And I have Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Yeah, which everybody says will make her cry. And the subject matter, I'm sure, will make I'm her so cry. questionable. Okay. <laughs> this one is the Raven Boys which is the fourth book, The Raven King, by Maggie Stiefvater. And I am so afraid that this book is going to make me cry. So that's why I grabbed it, because, and I've been putting it off because I'm afraid it's going to make me cry. And I don't cry during, during books, do I? I do not cry. So I'm really worried about that one. So <laughs> Rainbow Bed. Nope. Is the thunder. one you just did. <laughs> no, I did Cascade. No, we're on Thunderous. So uh, I just oh Thunder duh, Badge <laughs> Thunder Badge a book that gave uh, has thunderous hype so a book that um has been running around with lots and lots of hype that you haven't read yet so for me that's Illuminae by Amy uh, Kaufman and Jay Kristoff which I've been dying to get my little greedy hands on it's her book but I wanted to read it so bad <laughs> I love you <laughs> okay okay after by Anna Todd which is like. A Harry Styles uh, fan fiction that they made into a book, which is supposed to be like super steamy and super amazing. Well, yeah, and anything that has fan fiction usually has got a lot of hype surrounding it when they make it into a book, so that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So, and then we've got Rainbow Badge, which is diverse. Oh, definitely. So I've got The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adie, and sticking with that theme for because. You know, the year, um, the uh, Asian theme. Um, I went with uh, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. It's just not so, normal Asian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's uh, fantasy, but we've decided to go that way. So there you go. And the Indian, so far, Middle, Middle Eastern. Eastern. Middle Eastern. There you go. My brain is, I'm not feeling well. As you can see, I look like crap. And my brain's not connecting. <laughs> now we got so. Soul Badge, which is epic romance. And I've got Neptune Tears. Because to me, an epic romance is an alien and a human together. Because <laughs> it just makes me happy. Okay, I had like several choices, but I wasn't exactly sure what they were getting at by epic romance because all the books I think I read are epic romances. So I went with Winter because they have lots and lots of romance and lots of epic romances in this book. And need I say more wolf? <laughs> and Scarlet? <laughs> and uh, Thorn and Cress? So, I mean, those... Just those two couples alone, epic. So it's Winter by Marissa Meyer, so I'm excited. And we have the Marsh Badge, fantasy slash supernatural, and I have A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. 
Okay, and I've got a book that I've been ha wanting to read for a long, long time, and that's the, Between the Spark and the Burn, and I just, it's supernatural, so I'm super excited about this one. So definitely one that I want to read and finish Volcano off Volcano Badge, Red on Cover. Mm -hmm. okay, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefebvre. Okay. And I did the same thing, Red Dress. The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Person. Yes, but my red dress takes up 90% of the book. Okay, mine <laughs> takes up, mine takes up that much. <laughs> but it's still not right it on the cover. <laughs> it takes up that much. 55%. Yes, I'll give it, I'll give it that, 10% maybe. But I'm okay with that. It still is right on the cover. And I want to read that book, so. Okay, and then we have Earth Badge, which is this. Dystopian, post-apocalyptic, uh, and I have Pawn by Amy Carter. Okay, and I'm dreading the ending to this because I've heard so many mixed reviews, and that is The Last Star by Rick Riancy, and ugh, but I want to read it. I want to finish the series, so wish me luck. All right, guys, if, like I said, if you want to know more about the point systems and things like that and the prize... And everything that entails, check out um, um, read, at me, read at Midnight and see what all it entails because I'm going to definitely be going back and, back and forth between her just to keep track and make sure I'm on the right, right track with my points and everything else. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later. I got the potty. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>